Robert England retiring as Kruger, and he wants Kevin Bacon to take over. Everybody's excited about this. Kevin Bacon, he's young, he's spry. <laughs> Get him in the role. He can go for at least, I don't know, three years. Kevin Bacon's got to be like 60-something. Kevin Bacon is a decade older than Robert was the last Kevin time he played Freddy. Bacon age. Kevin Bacon is 66. He's okay. a decade older than Robert was the last time he played Freddy in 2003 for Freddy versus Jason. It's a bold you move. Can't, you can't you They're can't 10 start. years apart. They're 10 years <laughs> It's a bold pick. You can't start with a 60 plus year old. Like there's yeah. uh, you want one movie and then we're on, like we're on to someone else. It's the yeah. dumbest argument. I And by yeah. the way, that first article is from 2020. Robert <laughs> oh. endorsed him before 2020. Yeah. And like they are like people are still running that article. I think so they're just so this months, isn't like news. New this news. isn't well, new. No. Okay. It's just think, people reposting the goddamn Variety article four yeah. years later. I think they're bringing it up because he did do an interview saying once again, by the way, he's done multiple ones, but I guess this one was filmed where he's like, I'm done. My hand hurts. Mm -hmm. I'm too old. He's like, I will voice it and maybe put the makeup on for like a cameo thing, but he can't actually do the role anymore, which I don't blame mm -hmm. him. Yeah. Right. He I should, would love. He should do DNN too because I wrote it perfectly for it. He should. He should do yours. <laughs> However, I would just like, I don't know why, but in video games, it's only the Jack Earl Haley Freddy or some weird one. It's never Robert Englund. I'm like, I would like just Robert Englund in like a video game. That's all I want. That's all I That'd want. That'd be cool. Yeah. Instead of this weird knockoff Freddy they have that no one actually likes. But yeah, they need to get a new Freddy if they ever bring it back. I don't know if they're bringing it back. Jason is eventually. tied up in legal issues, but well, the problem is the the Elm Street rights are held by the Craven Estate, and mm. they want it. Like a bunch of studios went to them trying to make a movie last year, but apparently they wanted so much money that none yeah. of the studios were willing to pay it to do it. Wait, how did they get that? Because they weren't involved at all in the remake. Oh no, the the rights reverted back to the Craven Estate. I oh. think like a year before he died. Got you. Got you. Mm -hmm. So you guys aren't on board is what you're saying? I think it would be an absolutely ridiculous choice. I yeah. personally think, mm -hmm. um, I, I, yes, I, I made a, a whole TikTok about why this would mm -hmm. not be a good idea. And then I followed up with a TikTok on the top five people I think could and should do it. Timothy Chalamet, of course. Get Timothy Chalamet in there. Get Tom Holland in there. No, yep. there's a guy, I, I think his name might be Jeremy or something, but the guy that played um, Vecna. In Stranger Things, oh, um, yeah. that actor I think would be really, really good. That's I funny also think that Robert um, England was his dad on that show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I think Kyle Gallner, who was actually in the 2010 remake, yeah. I think he would be an awesome Freddy. I think David Howard Thornton would have mm. fun with the role. You know what I mean? I think there's plenty of people that could do it. Um, have they made any actual announcement about a new Freddy movie? Nope. Even nope. Nope. okay, no, because the oh, Craven that's... Estate hasn't budged. And I and you know, worst comes to worst, me or Glenn Powell are available to be Freddy. We we will do it. Yeah. We will we will show well, up. Well, I think you're a little too good looking to be Freddy, the the whole, you know, Powell yeah. vibes going on on your end. I'm of things, pretty so. sure with enough makeup and CGI they can make me look ugly. They're I know we don't have want to, to think make about up that. the shit out of you, man, because <laughs> yeah, that alpha energy is radiating it's, off the camera. It's gonna be like uh it's gonna be like when an actress takes a role to be like the ugly one. Like uh what you got Sydney Sweeney did a movie where she's like, This is me ugly. It's like you're still really hot. I don't yeah, think this is yeah. working the way you think it's working. Yeah. Okay. J Rob corrected. It wasn't uh, Jeremy. It was Jamie Campbell Bowers is that dude from Stranger Things. Sorry. Thank oh, you, okay. Uh, it's actually Jamie Lee Curtis. You're both wrong. <laughs> oh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Come she back for Halloween, baby. <laughs> She was. She's. I she's that that I'm, pre I'm pretty sure she's just talking out of her ass. She was just. Doing I don't that think, but she made so much money from that trilogy. Of course, she'd be willing to do more. Yeah. She she said several times throughout her career that it made her, and mm. she will always go back if they ask her because she. It's the franchise that gave her, you know, her big break. So. Oh, I'm willing to bet there's a script that she yeah. wouldn't return for. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fair. <laughs>